Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about that mineral exploration by Landsat images. How we can easily extract the different types of mineral information from the satellite images. I also try to discuss about that and also show you that all of those practical examples for how we can easily explore the different types of mineral using the Landsat images in Google Earth Engine platform. Okay, so let's go. So first of all, introduction. Mainly, when you want to do for that mineral exploration using remote sensing technique, first of all, you have to know better idea in a spectral technique of remote sensing. So spectral remote sensing is a tool that one has to aid in targeting a mineral deposit. We are using this approach various band combination or ratio to detect the mineral deposit. And mineral exploration using satellite images has been very successful in arid or semi-arid region. So in this time, electromagnetic radiance, a remote sensing instrument detect the electromagnetic radiance from few microns to millimeters of any surface. And the target surface must be exposed to sunlight. And the major limitation of Landsat imagery, mainly multi-spectral sensor uh, for geological studies where it's called the spectral resolution and it's limited spectral coverage which does not extend into the region most useful for defining the spectral characteristics of mineral important to exploration that is that short wave infrared band and for that after the landsat uh, 5 and 7 which provide the thematic mapper or tm sensor or etm sensor enhanced thematic mapper this TM system added a coverage in the short wave infrared and mid near infrared band, which providing the exploration with a tool for identify the hydrothermal alternation on the earth surface, the potential reactivity of the deposition of mineral. So in this time, I talk about the spectral characteristics of the rocks and mineral. So spectral remote sensing can provide the information about the chemical composition of rocks and minerals that are on the earth's surface and not completely covered by dense vegetation. And understanding that unique absorption of band associated with the specific types of rocks and mineral as they recorded using the spectroscopy technique. So using this spectroscopy technique, we can easily identify the different types of rock and mineral characteristics and mineral operator how we can easily use the different types of mineral operator so to highlight the some mineral in the subject area we can use the band combination 742 or 741 so mainly it is the landsat etm sensor 742 or 741 false color image composition will be considered when you want to highlight the some mineral in your area just use this band combination after some time i also try to show you practically then you can easily get how we can easily show this type of band combination and show the result and then the result image when you apply the 742 or 741 this combination the result image the red magenta or pink area identify the presence of mineral or clay deposit Okay, so mainly when you are using the 742 or 741, this band combination, it showing the result, the red, magenta or pink area, identify the presence of mineral or clay deposit. The black or dark blue area highlights the water and the green identify the land cover with vegetation. Okay, so let's go practical example. I just simply open my code editor and try to show you that. So it also better. So here I already add the quote about that all of those uh, iron oxide and hydroxyl bearings mineral 
then hydrothermal alternate areas the rock alternation the rock index and also false color uh, composition so here you can see all of those things we can easily get in here so basically this is a false color band combination here i already added so you can see him please set here um, 742 this type of band combination you need to set you can see 7 4 and 2 then we can easily get this type of um, band combination and mainly this time we can get this type of color so water body will showing as a black color and we can also get the rock will be showing this type of color and vegetation will be showing this type of green color okay magenta color we also get for here you can see this is the rock type okay so this is the process so i simply apply this pen combination about that then i easily get about the result so after that we talk about that rock index okay so mainly rock index is a specific normalized difference between the band 7 and band 2 okay so when you want to apply the rock index mainly rock index we can use for identify the rock okay so mainly this rock index formula is that b7 minus b2 divided by b7 plus b2 okay normalized difference between b7 and b2 band and the result rock index is the number in the range of negative 1 to positive 1 and can be visualized by gray scale image where the bright areas specific the mineral so when i apply the rock index in my code editor you can see the result look like that so this is the rock index you can see okay so in this time i can easily find out the different types of rock you can see this type of uh, red color identify the rock okay and green color identify uh, this is the vegetation type you can see this is the rock so just a simple open that zoom okay, you can see this is a rock okay different types of rock we can get in here so after applying the rock index formula i can easily find out the rock okay this red color it's identified the rock in this time okay you can see this is the rock index we can get the red the rock and this is the uh, green color identify the vegetation about that this is the rock you can see so this rock index after applying the rock index i can easily find out the rock in here so after that we are also use the different types of ratio technique using landscape data for identify the rock such as band ratio is a technique that has been used for many years in remote sensing to effectively uh, display the spectral variation and ratio is a character created by dividing the brightness values pixel by pixel or one band by another band so this is the ratio and one of the most used uh, for the false color composition is the three ratio three band, uh, band three divided by band one band 5 uh, band 7 and band 5 divided by band 4 so this is the use for false color composition is a 3 ratio and this combination is selected for three sensitive flip and the lithological variable and for their lack of the statistical redundancy and the ratio bands 3 1 uh, will enhance the rock which are rich in the freak iron oxide or it's also called the limonite for the hydrothermal alternation for the oxidation of the iron magnesium we can easily find out when i put the ratio between the three one it will be show the result about the freak iron oxide or limonite or for the hydrothermal alternation or the uh, oxidation of the iron magnesium and the ratio of bands five seven will enhance the rocks which are the risk in the aluminium hydroxide the ratio of five and seven band five ratio band 7 when i apply that i can easily identify the rock which are rich in the aluminium hydroxide such as those clay and the sulfate mineral produced from the hydrothermal fluid and associated with the uh, porphyry copper deposit and vegetation the band ratio 5 7 and 3 1 identify the areas of high prospectively okay and the ratio of bands 5 4 enhance the rocks which are rich in ferrous iron okay so when you apply the ratio of five band five and band four 
it enhances the rocks which are rich in the ferrous iron. We can easily identify the ferrous iron. Okay. So using all of those ratio, we can easily identify the different types of rock and different types of mineral. So in this term here, you can see mainly this is the image about the rock index image. When you want to apply the rock index formula, you can get the image look like that. And the highlighted area identify the possible mineral deposition. So in this time, this is the highlighted area. So it identify the possible mineral deposition. And the dark ones are vegetation. So this this dark area identify this is the vegetation or not relevant areas. Okay. The high when you apply the rock index uh, using the formula of the rock index, we can easily I highlight it the mineral deposition. And black area, it's identify the mineral. And rock alternation. So mainly in this time, it's showing the rock alternation. So rock alternation, mainly we, when you want to apply the band ratio, band 5 and band 4, this ratio you want to apply. And the image interpretation, dark green represented the vegetation. In this time, dark green represented the vegetation. And also, bright green represent the possible rock alternation. Okay. And red and pink highlight the areas of iron oxide. So in this time, you can see this is the red color. It's identifying the iron oxide. So this type of iron oxide, we can easily identify the iron oxide from here. As well as hydrothermally altered, uh, altered areas, we can easily identify using the ratio uh, red, green, and blue scenario for the B5 and B4. This ratio B7 and B4 and B3, B7 reciprocally in the image representation. The blue is water or vegetation. And the yellow is altered rocks as follow. This yellow color is identify the altered rocks. And bright yellow is the clay deposit. Okay, this bright yellow is the clay deposit. And orange to brown other alternate rocks. We can easily identify that. And then hydroxyl bring, uh, bearings mineral. So in this time, uh, you can see this type of color, magenta color. It's identify the about that uh, high iron oxide. And hydroxyl, hydroxyl bearing mineral. So when you apply the ratio B3 band divided by B1 ratio for the red channel and B5 and B7 for green and the sum of the two ratio B3, B1 and B5 and B7 two ratio can sum. This ratio for the blue channel, the variation of the magenta indicate the anomalous concentration of the iron oxide and sand hydroxyl bearing mineral. Okay, so this is the process we are using here the different types of ratio or different types of band combination for identify the different types of rocks or mineral. So now I simply go to my code editor and try to show you all of the things step by step. So in this time here you can easily find out all of those layer. So first of all uh, it's showing the result about that false color composite of my image collection. False color composite of my image collection. So in this time I can easily find out uh, the all of those rock in here. So here you can see. Uh, basically, it, um, basically we, in this time I use the band combinations such as 7, 4 and 2. Okay, so mainly this band combination is very useful for the geological perspective. Identify the different types of rocks, different types of sediment. We are using that 7, 4, 2. After that, you can see I simply work with the rock index. Okay, so rock index. So basically for the rock index, we are using the different uh, as a formula about the rock index so this rock index ratio this result will be between negative one to positive one so in this time this this type of color you can see red color identify the rock okay and it's identify the water body blue color is the water body and and the green color identify the vegetation and in this time you can, can easily identify the rock index you can see this is the rock okay you can see rock so this is the rock for this region so as well as the rock alternation so mainly rock alternation we can easily identify in this time this rock alternation when i open that i can easily find out the red color this red color identify the iron oxide okay and the green color identify the vegetation and deep green color identify about the rock alternation okay and this type of green uh, red color identify the iron oxide from here you can easily find it okay as well as you can see hydrothermally alternate areas when i simply open that so now i can easily find out this type of uh hydro hydrothermally alternate areas as a yellow color okay 
and this type of iron frost oxide or iron oxide you can identify from here as finally iron oxide and hydroxyl bearing mineral okay so in this time uh, we can easily identify this type of color it is that iron oxide and also bearing the hydroxyl mineral from here okay so this is the process uh, we are applied all of those code in here for the different types of rock index so this is the formula about the rock index we can easily implement the formula in here okay then apply the rock index uh, show the rock index layer and after that we are applying the ratio different types of ratio for showing the result about the iron oxide then also showing that hydrothermal or altered areas okay and finally showing the iron oxide and hydroxymal bearing mineral so using this equation so this type of equation we can easily implement in google earth engine platform and uh, using the landset imagery so basically in this time i use this landset uh, imagery for that etm landset uh, etm sensor and use it and then i identify different types of rocks and mineral from the uh, landset imagery okay so i hope you can easily learn all those things uh, from here and if you have any question or any doubt you can just contact with me and if you want you can also join my online training program for google earth engine from beginners to advanced level for the next best uh, this class will be start from the 11th uh, mainly this class will be start from the 8th september so this class will be start from the 8th september our new best will be start from here and admission last date is the 5th september and uh, okay so in the meantime we also provide the first 10 registered people get the 50 percent discount okay so if you want to join this online training program with 50 percent discount then as soon as possible you can simply contact with this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email okay and this online training program basically for the uh, only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine platform who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine function so you can easily join our um this online training program basically this class will be start from the 8th september okay so if you want to join then simply contact with this email or whatsapp number i will provide all of those information in the video description so that you can easily contact with me and uh, successfully complete your registration for our next pass okay so today is no more if you have any question or any doubt about the mineral exploration this part you can simply contact with me okay i will try to give the answer all of those things okay so thank you for watching that